Have you ever wondered why? It's been hot for three weeks. In fact, when I'm filming this video right now, it's the middle of June, and someone on TV, like someone I know, tells you it's the first day of summer. Can you believe it? It's summer, officially. Well, believe it or not, it's actually something you can solve with meteorology. So to explain how we currently define seasons, I'm gonna need two things. I'm going to need a globe and something to signify the sun. So, headlamp will be natural. But uh, it seems a little bright in here. Can I have the lights off, please? Thank you. So, as many of you already know, the Earth is actually on a tilt. Luckily for most people who own a globe, and especially me, I hope, the globe is actually already on a tilt. That tilt of the Earth, just in case you wanted to know, is 23.5 degrees slanted from directly 90 degrees up and down. So the sun isn't on a tilt, no matter how you think it looks when you're looking at the sky, if it's directly overhead or it's either west or east. So, for the sake of fun outdoorsiness, I'm using my little headlamp. This is how we define the seasons. Winter is actually 23.5 degrees south. When it's that that angle, it's actually winter. However, in June in the northern hemisphere, when the sun is pointed 23.5 degrees north, that is actually summer for us. Now you might be asking, how in the world do we get autumn and spring? So basically, it's the halfway point because the sun has to get from south to north at some point. So spring is actually the transition from 23.5 degrees south to the equator. Fall is actually 23.5 degrees north to the equator heading south. And it's weird because winter is in December, summer is in June, and in between it just doesn't really seem to match it. Believe it or not, meteorology has a different definition of seasons. Meteorologists have a different way of defining season changes. Oh, sorry. It's actually defined by the temperatures of the year. So winter is the three coldest months of the year. That would be December, January, and February. As for in June, when it turns to summer, it's June, July, and August. So instead of having summer pop up in the middle of a month, like June 20th for 2016, it actually is the first day of June. So we've actually accounted for the fact that it's already been warmer for three weeks. Summer to us has started and we're in the middle of it. As for autumn and spring, it's kind of like the same way what I showed you on the globe. It's the transition between the coldest months of the year, the hottest months of the year, and vice versa. So, for spring, it's actually March, April, May, and for autumn, it is actually September, October, and November. Now, if you've been wondering, how does it get colder and hotter before the seasons change it? Well, you have to think of it in terms of the way the atmosphere is structured. Believe it or not, the atmosphere is kind of what brings us our weather. You know, up in the sky we have clouds and things. There's actually higher wind up there. And that higher wind, based on where it came from, brings a lot of hot air with us, which brings a lot of seasonal changes, or it brings a lot of cold air with us. And that brings about seasonal changes too. So meteorologists are really just trying to define seasons and adjust to the temperature. Thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Very fascinating meteorology. <sighs> it's such a fickle beast. <laughs> don't forget to give this video a like. If you are on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. The button is below. Or if you're not watching on YouTube, the link to subscribe is actually at the end of this video. If you do subscribe to us, first of all, thank you. And second of all, you will be the very first to know when I post a video. I post them all the time, but you may not know until you actually go to YouTube or a social media site. This way, an email comes directly to your email box and you will be able to know when I post these things. Until then, thanks so much for joining us. I will be back on Friday to 
give you your weekend forecast. I'd say it's gonna be pretty good. Until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. See you later. Can you believe it? It's summer, officially. It felt like it for many weeks beforehand, especially for a lot of you um, in the Southwest, West, and oh yeah, the East Coast. You guys